Hi everyone, I'm Sharifa Sultana from Cornell University. Today I will present our paper, Munmochan, a tool to combat online sexual harassment over Facebook Messenger. This work was done with a group of my collaborators from Buet, IUB, University of Toronto and Elute University. Women's harassment often takes place over messengers. Many Bangladeshi women often expose their harassers on social media with screenshot of their chats as supporting evidence and seek justice. Victims attempt to seek help and justice often go in vain with the argument that technology can manipulate screenshots. Thus, authenticity of evidence is challenged. So we investigate when and why do Bangladeshi women prefer exposing their online harassers and what factors are significant while choosing possible online spaces for such actions? How do existing tools, platform policies and online environment often fail to assist them in this regard? And how do they address the problem when their supporting evidence is challenged for authenticity? How can we design better tools and technologies to support online gender justice in this regard? First, we conducted a survey with 91 female Facebook users and interviewed 43 participants for a deeper understanding of their usual strategies to combat harassment. In the second phase, we designed Unmochun that supports the women who seek help and justice to their harassment. We built on shame-based model of justice in this adversarial design. Then we conducted user study with 48 participants. We found that women are often harassed by their family members, friends and colleagues, and harassers are often more powerful at the workplace or had good image in the family. Thus, women did not find law and their institution much helpful, so they rather chose to shame the harasser by exposing the chat history. But the problem was here that the screenshot of the chat history can be forged and thus their evidence was often questioned. We contribute here through Unmojon. It consists of a Chrome plugin, a server, and a Facebook group. The plugin lets the users capture screenshots through it. Meanwhile, it retrieves the unique Facebook user ID of the harasser and sends them to the server. The server puts a stamp of Unmojon on it and sends it to the Facebook group as a post request. The group admins check the post request, accept them if relevant or discard otherwise. During the user study, we disconnected the server and Facebook group, demonstrated the application through a video, and let the participants use the plugin. Our first finding was that victims' gender, social position, and other hegemony influence justice in Bangladesh. For example, one of our participants, who was a lawyer, shared a story of one of the cases she recently handled in some debating society where a female debater was harassed by her colleague. She explained, both of them submitted their chat history to the association. He added some chat histories to prove their past relationship and claimed that the female colleague accused him to break his upcoming marriage. The association concluded that she was not harassed, but the male colleague also should have behaved himself. We also found that victims' communication skills and storytelling matter while seeking justice. And even if evidence was true, justice might still not be secured. As one of the participants explained, many patriarchal and conservative people are against women using Facebook since they think women meeting unknown people and losing their Buddha go against their practicing Muslim ideology. They might say she invited it. So even if she proves that she was harassed, she might still fail to establish justice because of this blame. Sometimes harasser might make a case that victim seeking justice violate their privacy as one of the participants shared her story. Then one day I logged into my Facebook profile at the university and proved that I didn't manipulate it. He started countering me by saying whatever happened he did it privately and yelled at me asking why did I invade his privacy in front of people. Do I really have to care about his privacy after he had done so much damage to my mental health? Our study has several takeaways. First, researchers working on gender harassment on social media often call for engaging women, especially gender harassment victims, in designing gen gender justice tools and techniques. Unmochun is a response to that call. We showed that proving the authenticity of evidence might not still ensure justice as mob sentiment, hegemonic legal consciousness, and many privacy challenges are associated with seeking justice. We argue that allowing focusing on users and their immediate needs, feminist ACI and ICTD should also aim at supporting gender movement on social media and handle the ever-mentioned political complexities. Second, we found that often friends and family members harass women online and thus they can solve it by just blocking the harasser. Victims often believe that their sporadically and locally organized small-scale protests might help them more than legal system. We argue that technology should be designed to balance and bridge between social support and legal perspective to support the victim better. Third, Unmochon is designed based on transformative justice. Unmochon uses shaming, which is an adversarial action towards pushing someone from their misconduct. It also pushes a person to reflect on what they have done from their social peer and repent for that. Thus, immediate punishment and long-term sustainable solution to gender justice might prevail. Thank you and I will invite questions now.